Okay, so speaking of, mm -hmm. the countdown to the London Games is underway and the excitement is just contagious. In fact, if you've ever thought of trying an Olympic sport for yourself, we found a place for you to uh, test the waters. <laughs> we sent Jordan Carson to talk to the professionals at the Grand Rapids Rowing Association to find out how beginners can take part in this historic sport. There are 14 different men and women's rowing events happening at the London Games, and there's no better way to experience the action than to try the sport yourself. I'm here talking to Landon Bartley from the Grand Rapids Rowing Association. The games are right around the corner. What can people expect out of the rowing events? Well, there's uh, rowing events throughout the whole games, and it's a very exciting event to watch. Uh, they have great television coverage of rowing. It's sometimes watching it in person is kind of hard to see because mm -hmm. they're way off in the distance and they. The excitement is just at the end, but uh, watching on TV is really great. Uh, you'll see, you know, singles events, one person doubles, four squads with four people, and the eights events. And at, at that level, it's just very exciting competition to watch. Okay, well, there's a rich history that goes along with the Olympic Games yeah. and the sport of rowing. Oh How's yeah. Well, the first Olympic Games were uh, well over 100 years ago, and rowing was was in the first Olympic Games. It's been so ever since. Uh, in fact, it's also been in Grand Rapids uh, since the 1800s, uh, when the older sports around here, oldest well, in intercollegiate sports as well. Um, but the Grand Rapids Rowing Association itself has only been around for about 25 years, and it's really just blossomed the last three years, in fact. Okay. Well, for someone who knows nothing about rowing, you have two different ways to row. You've got sculling and sweeping. Right. What is the difference? The difference is that sculling uh, each row rower is going to have two, two oars. Uh, so this boat right back here is a single, that's a sculling boat. A sweep boat, the oars are much bigger, a little bit more leverage, a little more force it takes to pull to the oar. You'll, you'll only be using one of them at a time. So you have to have a crew working together to make sure that you're pushing the boat forward just right. Well, well this is the perfect place here with the Grand Rapids Rowing Association for people to get involved in the games and kind of do it in their backyard. And yeah. you have grown tremendously in the last three years from five members to over 100. That's right. Um, yeah, we've, we've really been trying to expand our programs. Uh, we have adult programs, we have high school programs, uh, adult learn to row programs. That's been really great. We've had uh, probably almost 500 people just in the last few years going through our learn to row program. Well, I hear it's a sport that everyone can try, so oh, okay. I'm going to take my hand at it and jump in the water. Association. How has this changed your life? Yeah, I started here four years ago. Um, just came into the boathouse one day. Landon, who you interviewed earlier, was like, placed me in this boat, completely helpless. And then four years later, now I'm going on scholarship next year to row. Fell in love with it completely. Wow. Now, this is a total body workout. I mean, how quick were you able to get in shape with this? It's a tough process. It's a very tough process, and I'm still, you know, changing every day. It's very like self-motivated. You really have to. It comes from all of you to to get yourself to move faster in the boat. Well, talking about self-motivation, you have a lot of that because you have a big win under your belt that just happened recently. Yeah, I just came back from the club national championships and won in the women's pair, first gold medal. So. I finally can call myself a national champion after these four years. Wow, congratulations. And you started just four years ago. Right. It's incredible. Congratulations to all your success Thank and you. your 
upcoming career in college. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And if you'd like to get in on the action, I know there's still room available for all the classes here at the Grand Rapids Rowing Association. And who knows, you might be rowing yourself into the next Olympics. It is a really historic sport. It has a great, you know, story behind it. It really does, and I'm just mesmerized watching even that, know, that clip of cool. them. I've seen them out on Reed's Lake before, because I'll, I'll run around Reed's Lake and they're out rowing, and I just kind of sit, sit there and watch. <laughs> In awe. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have previous rowing experience, the Rowing Association offers adult learn to row classes for those with a little more rowing experience, but not interested in competition. <laughs> there are several recreational crews, and there's also the adult competitive team crew. If you are ready, for some serious, serious competition. Yeah, competition's always a little bit of fun. The Grand Rapids Rowing Association is easy to find, located at 291 North Park Northwest, or you can call to find out about which class may be the right one for you at 616-929-0769, or log onto their website at www.grrowing.org. And hey, don't forget to tune in Friday night at seven, right before the Olympic opening ceremonies, which of course I am DV VRing for sure. Mm -hmm. Sports director Jack Doles brings us Olympic hopes, gold dreams, a special look at Michigan's impact on the summer games. Again, that show begins at 7, right before the opening ceremonies at 7.30. So many exciting things coming up. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to see Jack's special, too. I know. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be excellent. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Your all-access pass to everything West Michigan.